Welcome to Total Bounty WordPress video tutorials. Total Bounty is a digital marketplace for buying and selling HTML templates, WordPress themes and plugins, and PSD files and graphics. Let's get started. This video I'm going to cover how to create an XML sitemap uh, with a plugin and how to install it and how to get it working. So what you got to do is first you got to install it. So plugins, add new, and then XML sitemap. And I'll throw the word Google in there for a keyword too. And you get a whole bunch of them, right? You don't know which one to pick because there's a lot of them. Uh, one little trick I've learned is hover over the stars and it'll tell you how many ratings, 27. 11, 4, 4, 5, 31, 2,760. Point being is this one has been around for a long time and it's rated extremely high. That's a quick way to find uh, which one you want to use. Um, as you can see, you'd hit install and activate it. I already have it installed. So after you install it, the settings page is on settings and XML sitemap. And once you first get there, uh, the sitemap wasn't built yet. So click here to build it for the first time. Click it and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna build your sitemap. And it's gonna notify Google, Bing, ask about the that you've created a sitemap and the location of it. Now here's all your different options for it. Um, if you don't change any options, it'll work just fine. But if you want to have a different type of functionality or change up around, then it gives you the opportunity to do so. Like if you didn't want to update um, Google or Bing or ask, when you update your blog for some reason, you just click that. But I recommend you just leave all these on because this is the purpose of doing it. And you also get some advanced options if you want to try to change the, uh, the memory size in case your sitemap is extremely big. Some servers only have a certain type of memory. And um, if it takes, if your server only runs for 15 seconds for a process and shuts off, you can try to uh, up the execution time in order to uh, get that to work properly. But you have all these uh, different options down here. Do you have uh, priorities for uh, what you can have? Uh, location of your sitemap. You can uh, put it in a different location if you want. Change the file name and a link that goes straight there. You can view it. And you can change what you want in for uh, the content. Uh, like I said, out of a box, this, what you have here is good, but if you want to add other stuff, feel free to. Then you can uh, exclude different categories. You can change the frequencies. This is just a uh, giving the search engine a hint, saying that your homepage changes daily, your post pages change monthly, static, whatever you think it is, you can set it at. But whatever you think it is, for instance, Google's going to figure it out by themselves. And if your homepage only updates once a month, even though you have it set it daily, well, you're only going to get crawled again once a month. And it's not going to come back daily because you say so. Uh, the same thing with priorities. You give your priorities of which, um, which ones are more important. But that's all there is for the options. Um, these are great for any website. You always wanna submit a uh, XML sitemap to the search engines so the search engines knows which pages you have on your website and the URLs. This is, uh, if you have like a three, four page website, it's not really that important. It still helps, but it's not really that important. But these are great for uh, large dynamic websites with thousands and thousands of pages. 
But either way, I would still always uh, make one of these and submit it to the search engines because the search engines is what brings you traffic. And the more pages that the search engines know that you have, the more traffic that you're going to get, essentially. And uh, that's all there is for uh, XML site map generator plugin. Thanks for watching. Visit the totalbounty.com blog for more WordPress tips and tricks.